In the early 80s when I was cheering, the uh, mascot that we had was a dragon. He was a yellow and black dragon. He was Puff. And uh, we had Puff also the first couple of years that I was coaching. And then in the mid-90s, we had a, a, a character named Mac the Knight. And Mac was kind of a hybrid between a football player, he had football pads on, and, uh, and a knight helmet. One of the things that has been really rewarding for me is having the opportunity to know the very first Nitro, who was Trey Gordon, and Trey was very instrumental in even creating the mascot costume itself. The committee was put together in 94 to explore the possibility of creating a new animated mascot. And one of the members of that committee was Trey Gordon, and Trey had been a cheerleader at UCF, and after several weeks of meeting, Trey called me, and he just was very dissatisfied with the direction he felt like it was going. Um, people were talking about not having a knight as our mascot, and he just felt very passionate about that. That was when he commissioned Metropolis Graphics to do the early drawings of what became Nitro. And he took it to the committee, and they loved the drawings, and the rest is history. The first few costumes were big and bulky, and you were limited in what you could do, and as years went by, changes were made. New costume vendors went from a lot of foam bulky costumes to a glittery costume and this last rendition is when we went from golden knights to just knights. The stadium opened, we have a new logo, all of that stuff, a new nitro was born from that. People have come to love nitro and the energy that he has and people don't necessarily know who the students are and that's the way the students want it kept but yeah having that passion for UCF is a uh, one of the things that stands out most to me with the students I work with. We can hardly keep up with the requests for appearances. That's almost a full-time job in itself. Everybody loves him. He's the cool guy. Makes it a fun experience for whatever event he's at. Fans come cheer on the Knights as they take on the Temple Owls on Saturday, October 25th. It's homecoming at Bright House Network Stadium, presented by CFE.